Aloha, my name is Megan. I'm here at Body Alive Yoga in Maui, Hawaii, and today I wanted to give you another one of my tips and tricks. So I'm finding, I see a lot in my classes, that people are really struggling to transition down to the floor from plank and also up off the floor from chaturanga or from cobra up into plank or downward facing dog. So I wanted to give you a little insider scoop that might help you with that transition. So, a lot of times when I'm asking people to come off the mat, what I will see is that they are using their arms to push themselves up and then as an afterthought, they're lifting their hips. So what happens, and it would make it a little more seamless, is to really start to include your legs right from the beginning. So what I've been asking people to do is try to lift their belly and their hips at the same time as they're pushing their hands. So what that would look like is to engage our lower belly a little bit and then start to lift your hips up at the same time as you're pushing your hand and it's a little more seamless. And as you're coming down, we wanna lower down so that everything is coming down at the same time as opposed to <coughs> dropping in pieces. So it's a good way to practice it from your hands and knees and even for your students to start to train the movement from their hands and knees first so you set up so that your hands are pretty much right underneath your elbows. You want to activate your belly a little bit. So do that by drawing in and up with your pelvic floor, your lower belly, and start to engage your inner thighs a little bit. So you're activating your deep core line, which we will get to in another episode. But you're starting to really activate for your core. And as you activate there, and you're pushing into your hands, so you have your contact points of the power points of your palm. You start to engage your belly, engage your legs, push your hands and you're coming off the floor seamlessly so that it starts to really feel a little bit more coordinated and a little more easeful. And so finally, what that will look like as you come up from your floor to high plank, similar activation of the legs. So you start to hug in with your heels, your inner thighs, lifting in and up through your lower belly and your hands are nice and active. So you'll take a breath to prepare. And as you exhale, lifting your belly and your hips at the same time as you're pushing your hands, and then you can make your way up and back from there. So let me know how that works for you. See if you can include it into your practice or even into your teaching. And hopefully it is beneficial for you. Really help with your arm strength and your arm balances. Thanks so much for walking, watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Our website is bodyaliveyoga.com and our email is bodyaliveyoga at gmail.com. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you soon. Aloha. Namaste.